Today we've got another delivery, something small this time, nothing like all those PC gadgets we had up there before. Do you want to know what's inside? We've well, probably seen from the description already, but let's have a look! Hi everyone and welcome to another IoT Ixis on Tech. I am Ixis on today's episode. We're going to be doing a little unboxing of this little gadget I bought off Gearbest uh, about three or four weeks ago. It got delivered last weekend, but because Glastonbury was on, I ended up watching all that all weekend. Plus, I got hung over on Sunday, so that's why you didn't get a video from me last week. So, this little gadget, I think it cost me about £9, £10, some of that. I was for free delivery from China. No, from the Netherlands, actually. It got delivered from the Netherlands. So, coming in closer, we'll snip it open and we'll connect up to the app. Yes, it's app connected. So come on closer. Okay, so here we have our trusty pair of scissors. It is an Acara humidity sensor and temperature sensor. So let's crack this open. The worst unboxing in history, but never mind. Let's move those out the way. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a little sticky ring in the back. Wow, that's tiny. Ooh, there you go. For comparison, there's a Mi Band 2. Wow, what comes with the pre applied sticky already? Battery's going to be in there, and that's a temperature and humidity sensor. Quite a thick book, and it's in English temperature and humidity sensor quick start guide. So this connects up to the Xiaomi hub, the Xiaomi gateway. Well, there we go, back to Chinese now. And I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh! All right, so let's get the hub out and uh, let's kind of pull that out, shall we? All right, so here we have the Xiaomi Gateway. You've probably seen the video of this before where I set it up with the magic cubes. If not, then just click the little ticker thingy going across the top of the screen here. All right, so let's see how we open this. I probably need a coin of some sort, which I have a 20 feet. UK 20. Bent speeds. Let's try and open that. Oh, there we go. It's clicked. There's probably a pull tab in here. I don't know. So, oh, there's a reset button on the bottom. Fair enough. All right, let's put that back on. There we go. Oh, that's nice and. Nice and small, which mm, mm, stick it that way. All right, let's go to the Mi Home app. Here's my trusted phone. So I've already got the record. So look, three, two, one. Beep. All right, Mi Home. Ooh, took a while. All righty then. So we've already got the meat temperature in the kitchen. At the moment, that's probably showing really warm. Today is Friday the 5th of July. It's 1.40 in the afternoon, and here in Newport in Wales in the UK, we are experiencing, I think it's um, around about 23, 24 degrees, so it's like our summer at the moment. So if we go to the app and see what it says on there, 25.4. Oh, it's not connected. Yeah, never mind. All right, let's go to add. Always need setting, uh, location settings. All right, let's enable that. All right, so I'm going to go sensor. That's the one. Temperature and humidity sensor. Let's tap on that. Mm, okay then. Long press the button for more than five seconds and then release it when the blue light blinks three times continuously. So there's a little button on the bottom by there. Let's push and hold. Focus. Oh, it's counting down. Yay! We're not going to stick this in the bedroom. Device name. Yeah, we'll keep it with that. Let's get started. Relatively up. 27.9 degrees! Oof, crikey. I thought it was warm in here, but geez, that is warm. Prevent heat stroke. But seeing that though, I have been holding it, so that's probably why. What if I blow on it? Loading. 
28. Oh, there we go. I always knew I was hot. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've got... <laughs> I've got this little sensor. <laughs> Let's go back, see if we can connect to the other one. The other one is in kitchen. Temperature. Uh, oh, there we go. It's 26.5 in the kitchen. See, I told you it was hot here at the moment. This is what we call a, a late summer. Late summer here in the UK. Okay, so I've had a little play with this. And let's have, dive into the options here. So we've got temperature and humidity configuration. You tap on that, you've got a hysterical, hysterical, ha <laughs> ha, so funny. You've got a historical trend of temperature and humidity. You tap on that, it brings you up a nice little graph. So we can see here the humidity was down, up, down, up, down. Temperature is the green line going along the bottom. But you've also got pressure. 100 kPa. I don't know if you can change that, I guess you can. But temperature and humidity. Environmental reminders, send notifications when the environment is improper. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where else we got? Automation. I guess if I had like a Xiaomi smart plug that was enabled for the UK, a three pin plug, then I guess I could turn on like a fan if it got too warm or even a heater if it got too cold, for example, in winter time. Or else we've got any options, general settings, rename, manage locations. Oh, I put it in the living room. Oh no, it is in the bedroom. Right, so it's in the bedroom, that's fine. Uh, add home screen, time zone. Well, we know we need to put this to land on. Where is London? There we go. So we're in the UK. Okay. So it's still saying it's relatively hot. Yes, I know it's relatively hot. 27.4 degrees, it's starting to get a bit cooler. Phew. So there we have it then, the new, to me anyway, the Acara temperature and humidity sensor if you want to buy this product i'll leave a link in the description and, uh, below if you like this video then please give us a thumbs up if not give us a thumbs down but please leave in the comments below as to why you didn't like this video as i'm a new channel the more likes and especially the more subscribers i get then the more videos i can make for you people sitting at home or watching on your mobile phone or even watching on your chromecast tv hopefully i'll be making another video soon but i am moving home so next weekend I'll be uh, probably coming at you from another another location. Anywho, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. Have a nice weekend and bye-bye.